All right, so welcome back. Hoping you're all having a fabulous day here today. We do got some very fun stuff to talk about. As you all know, I got to remind you, as I always do, before the release of a character, skill kit, or anything of this sort, I want to remind you these things before pulling for the character. This time, I also want to wish you all the best of luck, and I do hope every single body watching pops off what they're looking for, and uh, you get everything you want from this entire banner. With that being said, let's hop into this. Uh, let's jump into everything, and let's talk about it. Like and subscribe. Help us out sign. Let's get into things. So first things first that I kind of want to mention is this. Just make sure this is clear with everybody, right? Uh, with this banner, you're not just getting out for one. Uh, some players might not know this by now, but yeah, Vigilante Deku is releasing on this banner. Um, and remember this. So while you're pulling for over one, you can actually pull for Deku. So first things first, if you make it to the point of like, oh, I pulled 120 times. I pulled 120 times, basically allowing me to have 120 pity, right? Meaning you put in 1,200 summons. That means you can actually pick up the Deku skin for free you can pity it so remember on this banner you can actually pity deku just make sure you keep an eye out and say okay i put in 150 that means i can pull deku again how it works is after a thousand summons that equals 100 pity that means you can actually buy deku using that pity just like that so again first things first that's there the question i've gotten from a few people is hey gogo listen buddy i like deku correct but if i pull off one like below the point of deku should i put more summons in to get deku the answer is if you like deku if you're gonna play deku and you're gonna use deku just get deku <laughs> it's not an issue there right uh, just like the way that i would do it is if i put like 70 summons in i'm putting 80 90 and 100 to make sure i get deku correct that's again 700 tickets up until a thousand then i can pity using a thousand tickets so again if i if i made it to 70 or 700 tickets right i would pity that i would be like yeah i'm putting in three more multis to pick up deku but if i made it 60 summons because my ego exists i'm not doing it it's like dude the the sentiment sentiment of it all right 400 summons nah nah i could use that 400 summons to get uh, bakugo so for me anything uh you know around like 300 to 200 is like the sweet spot like if it's 90 or 900 summons you put in and you only need to put in one more multi just get it it's a skin it's a good skin too it's vigilante deco bro come on now um beyond that though that's what it's kind of with like the banner right after that just remember bakugo is coming out so before anything before you summon please ask yourself this question say it right now in your head do i play as a movement character do i like the movement category if you answered yes to that just keep an eye out for bakugo because again he is literally movement like if you look in, in the dictionary correct movement you find bakugo that guy has so much movement it's not even funny he probably is the number one movement character in the game he he can literally so people were testing it and they use his movement you can be in the air consistently right land for like 10 seconds be back in the air again like bro he is a absolute chopper of a character dude he's a jet i don't even know what to call him he is that guy uh he's a very big movement character so that is next that is up next if that is something you care about uh go for it um really there is no way to test this character while all for one's banner is there uh remember that all for one and all for one and shigaraki will both be gone as soon as this launches this is a four-week banner this is again a two-week banner so four weeks so four so two two over two over boom correct you're not going to make it these characters are going to be both gone this is going to be gone this is going to be gone obviously uh when this pops up so you have to make the decision now do you want this do you want this if both uh you say no to go for bakugo that's there right uh before you also summon for all for one just make sure this is clear with everybody make sure that you know what you're picking up this character is a purple character he is a very powerful character but what i want to recommend with this character is just one thing this is not really a uh, negative point and don't be like oh uh, because i can't play most of the characters now i can't pull for him what i just want you to know is if you are able to kind of play as a lot of characters in this game all for one's value shoots up a lot for you correct uh when a player plays toga correct when a player uses brain cells and isn't just beta spam okay a good toga player will play with the beta yeah and use the ability to basically uh quirk steal right or just drink your blood in become you uh, and when that happens toga is a very powerful character in most situations a toga that beta spams versus a toga that actually becomes a character usually the beta spam loses that's just my take but you know beta, beta spammers exist and they're pretty good at beta, beta spamming i can't even say that 10 times fast drive it. it's hard but um with that you kind of want to become the character and that's the kind of sentiment with all for one if you mastered most characters in this game or at least you know the fundamentals of each character your value in all for one is much higher let's say you know how to play cementos real well and you play all for one now in a situation where you've stolen a cement uh, cementos quirk you are going to excel you're going to do very good in that entire fight when you find somebody you know that cementos will destroy become cementos correct let's say you've had so much experience with many, many characters your value in all for one shoots up super high let's say you barely play and you barely know any characters it's a little bit more on the rough around the edges part but he's still gonna work for you correct his base abilities are very strong just like toga it's just the little like sprinkles on top the cherry on top for everyone is the ability to become those characters and steal their quirks and that's like a huge selling point so just know that now that if you know how to play most characters the value in all for one is very high 
high. If you don't know that many characters, it's a little lower, but that's nothing that practice can't fix. Just learn the characters that you're stealing their quirks and be able to use them in, in situations, right? And it'll be quick. Within like a week or two, you'll know how to play this character uh, to the best of your ability and you know what counters what, correct? So just make that clear. Uh, again, as always, I want you to test the character in training or rental ticket. Uh, with Shigaraki, you couldn't rental ticket. With this character, you can rental ticket, which is very, very cool there. Uh, so again, do keep that in mind. You are allowed to rental ticket. Uh, so you have the ability to check out what he does and what he brings to the table, which is again, good. So that is what they cooked up on that front. Very cool stuff. Very nice stuff. Um, that is there. Okay. Uh, also again, training, both things work. Uh, you have 14 days of rental tickets, theoretically one per day for 14 days until he goes. So again, you have that much time to test that with him and see what he can actually uh, kind of cook up with. Maintenance also got announced, by the way, just keep this in mind. They have recently have announced maintenance. Uh, maintenance is going to be a few hours. So just make sure that's clear. I can show you the tweet real quick before I go into the rest of the video. But yes, maintenance will be conducted as follows from this time over here to this time over here. Uh, so basically it's going to come up around like in the middle of the morning in a way. It's around 1.30 PSD, around 4.30 AM <laughs> EST. So it's going to be a bit of an update. It's going to be a bit of a long one. Uh, so just, just keep that in mind. It's about like six to seven hours, I think, is what they kind of said. Uh, so again, it's going to be a bit of time here bet uh, between it, uh, you know, going down and going up. So uh, just again, mentally prepare yourselves and <laughs> be ready for the torture uh, of that. But who really cares? Again, have fun with it. And uh, just make sure yourselves are, or you are mentally prepped uh, for summoning and not summoning or not summoning, correct? Um, so that is there too. Now, beyond that aspect of Orphan 1, again, beyond testing him, beyond knowing what he is, beyond all that stuff, what is next? Bakugo is next. What's after that? Season 5 is again four weeks away from the release of Bakugo. Six weeks away from the release of All for One. What can I tell you right now is this. There is no information at all, at all, at all on what is coming soon. We do not know. We do not have any confirmations about anything. All that I can tell you is this. There are two quirk skill sets worked on and there's two characters that might pop up because they were mentioned just via text in the master data. Remember that? I've said that 10,000 times. So I'm pretty sure you know who those characters are. There's two of them that shoot flames correct, that are, um, you know, uh, skill kits, right, that being uh, brothers, brothers, not a spoiler from the anime, because I'm thinking everybody knows that by now, but again, I'm not gonna say their names, because I've said it 10,000 times, and you probably know it, plus I want to be safe, uh, the other two characters are uh, characters from arcs, uh, where uh, Deku had to rescue Eri, there's characters from that arc, which might pop up, we don't know yet, um, as we had two villains now, I'm expecting a hero, so there is that, and season five is six weeks away from all for one, so you have plenty of time to start saving. <laughs> Six weeks is a lot of weeks uh, with weeklies, dailies, and whatever garbage they give us. Uh, that's not even close enough to pity. So keep that in mind. That's there. Unless Premium Login comes back, we're screwed. But um, remember that. That's how it kind of goes. I always recommend to pull with 2,000 summons also. Uh, do not forget that point. That still stands. Alpha One's a very powerful character. He's a technical character. You like that? Go for him. You'd rather have Bakugo. He's a blue character. Go for him. Test the character by renting him. Test him in training. Go for that. Vigilante Deku is again releasing with this update. Remember, schoolgirl costumes and school costumes for school guy? School boy? I don't know. Whatever. Those costumes are releasing also uh, with Bakugo. So let's say you like uh, Froppy or Uraraka. You like those skins. They're coming out. Be aware. Uh, we're getting Deku, Bakugo, and Kirishima to get skins also being their school versions when they were kids my right? middle school versions uh bakugo skin looks amazing <laughs> because it's, the drip is there uh deku looks pretty good and kirishima looks pretty good um so remember that's also coming soon if that's something you care about there you go there is also the gacha banner releasing the freebie banner so remember that's also there uh so don't be like i'm pulling on this banner for all for for, for endeavor uh or, or aizawa make sure to use that ticket first then make your decision uh remember that kirishima also will be getting a uh the ability to be picked using a character ticket so if you want to play as kirishima Shima very badly you can officially do that for free just by using a character ticket uh, which there's been so many given to us and you should have hero souls if you fail on the actual freebie banner that's there too so again a bunch of information I wanted to compile real quick uh, to make sure you are aware uh, they're gonna be giving uh, gifts weekly remember that also uh, the hundred million download uh, skins are also gonna release if you want to save for those that's happening too um, and yeah that's where it currently stands remember that again this season was an accelerated schedule of, uh, of you know skills if you want to wait maybe they update the master data and we get some leaks between the next two weeks but as of right now no leaks no information that we have and uh, that's where it currently stands correct that's it so hope you enjoyed i wanted to quickly just run off some information at the end there and yeah that's there main just got announced character looks good He's a mastery character. He he kind of wants you to know how to play other characters to really use him. But it's not like a selling point of, oh, now I can't pull him at all. No, pull him, try him, learn the characters. It's simple. And there, yeah, that's it. So take care, have fun, and good luck. Best of luck, everybody. Have fun.